I've got quite a few old calculators and one of the ones I've got is this Electronica MK61. It's quite interesting. It's an RPN calculator and um, you can add two numbers together like that. So that's the enter key there, the B with an up arrow. The rest of it, not too sure because it's Russian and I don't speak Russian, I really don't know what these keys do up here. I've looked them up and found out what they do, tried them out, but I really don't know what they do. This one here is a clear all. Um, I think that's the exponent and that's the change sign and I think that's X to Y. So if I put a number on the stack, another number in X, I can swap between the two numbers. So it's, it's quite an interesting calculator. Um, it's running off USB power at the moment. But it's got a big brother and um, that calculator is even more interesting because it's got a built-in E squared prom. I'll just put the power in there. Now, as it's more interesting, and I thought I'd be using that more than the MK61, I thought I'd uh, change the keyboard for an English keyboard. So I've made some keys up here, and these keys replace the ones that were originally in the MK52. And now I can put numbers on the stack with the enter key. I can put another number in X and swap X and Y by pressing the X to Y button. We've got the exponent and change sign there quite easy, but what I can do here, which I couldn't do on the other one very easily, is put 12 in register 5 and 6 in register 7 and then recall register 5. <laughs> and it's, it's much easier to use. So uh, I'm going to delve into some of the E squared prom accessing and so on. The way I made these, I 3D printed the keys minus a little post on the back that presses through some foam onto the contacts and then I used a CNC machine to engrave some 2.8 millimeter high letters on the front then uh, filled the keys with either air drying clay for some of them and now I'm trying out with a couple of keys here, the RW, read write in the address that's actually filled with paint so that's a different way of doing it. Then I sand the top, polish the plas uh, plastic on top and um, I super glue a, a 2.5 millimeter rod into a hole that I 3D printed on the back of the keys and that's the actual pressure point for the contacts. So it's a two part thing, it's, it's a bit of styrene rod and a 3D printed part together with some engraving and some hand finishing. They're very much handmade keys though. Um, I don't think I can make vast quantities of them but they do work so we can recall seven and we can recall five by pressing the recall button. I find this much easier to use. It's the first time today when I put the keys together that I've actually managed to store and recall numbers as easily as that or in fact ever because I don't think I actually looked to see what those keys did. So there we go, it's an English-ish keyboard on the MK52.